Uh, my name is James Hampton, Jim Hampton, Petty Officer of Third Class ETR. I remember going to the Caribbean, I believe it was two or three times, saw many islands down there, San Juan, St. Thomas once, I think. No, St. Thomas a couple times. San Juan there was three times. We, we tied up in, I want to say St. George, in the itty bitty little pier. Our floating wire antenna had gotten uh, tangled up in the screws at one time or another, so there, there was a work party asking, you know, volunteers to go down and, and uh, uh, try and untang, you know, pull this wire uh, out of, away from the, the, the uh, propeller shaft because we were making noise. Uh, so, we, you know, there were six or seven of us, that, you know, had snorkel and, and mask, and we'd go down and do this. And uh, we, we had some barracuda in the water and didn't know what they were at the time, so it didn't bother me at all. But when you look up and you see this fish that's about this about this much mouth and about this much body, you're going and it, and it's smiling at you. It it kind of it was it was an interesting confrontation. Let's put it that way. Uh, there were sh su submerged uh, uh, vessels uh, while I was standing sonar watch. We were not like the nuclear navy that had a huge computer to tell you exactly who everybody was. Uh, we had to kind of figure that out for ourselves. Didn't know for sure who, who was out there. But, you know, there, there were vessels that were unidentified, let's put it that way. I was on the bank 22 months. Oh, we launched torpedoes all the time. We did a lot of war games, a lot of simulated war games with uh, uh, surface ships. We. Uh, we had one, one occasion down in, I believe it was San Juan, we had the opportunity to swap places with sonarmen on, on board a carrier. don't remember which one it was at this time. Um, but the, our sonarmen went on board their ship. We came back, they came, they came back, they sent their sonarmen over to ours and we swapped places for a day or two. And I determined that I really was happy that I didn't have to stand in line for an hour and a half to get, to get chow. It, it, was, it was a unique experience. Uh, I, think, I don't think I'd want to be in the nuclear navy. Uh, we went on board. Uh, one of the nukes came in when we were in Bermuda and uh, they invited you know, the sonarmen to come over and look at their stuff. Nice, nice equipment. Um, their, their computer console was as big as our electronics area, not counting their scopes and their, uh, you know, their, their listening devices. Uh, but they only came in to provision. They came in, they loaded, we kind of got a little quick tour of the of the of the boat, and they departed. So the, I I don't know that I'd want to do nuclear navy. The FBMs would be three on three off, three months out, three months in. Um, however, of those three months uh, going out, they it wasn't really three months. It was usually about usually about uh, uh, a week before and a week after were. Get, getting back on, on board the ship or boat and um, uh, making sure that everything's working correctly because uh, they would come in, the old old crew would get off and the new crew would come on, make sure everything was working right, get it working right, and then they would go to sea for 60 days. Most of the guys that came on board with me um, were, were reservists and Basically, when we got back from the Mediterranean, uh, there were at least three guys that I know of that got off at that at that you know that that uh, were separated at that time.